Hey guys, it's Cassie and welcome to the moving vlog. This is going to be pieced together vlog footage of me trying to keep it together whilst relocating to another country. Okay, so we are T minus 22 days. So yesterday I spent a lot of time deciding which luxury items I'm taking, which are going to my parents and so on and so forth. And what's annoying is that, let me just put you down here while I, while I put you on this box while we have a chat. It would be one thing if I'm taking it all and I'm doing a shipment, right? Then that's like, okay, my mind only has to deal with one thing. But it is, what am I taking? What's going to my parents up north? What's going to Nee's parents? And it's managing that. And it's even the stuff that like, microwave. What do I sudden do with that? First load of stuff that's going is, I've got a man with a van coming <laughs> on Thursday, today it is Tuesday, to take the stuff that's going to my parents to my parents. So that'll be quite good because that'll give us some sodding space. Let me show you the stuff that I've packed ready to go. Okay, so this is the current state of things that are going to my parents. So the treadmill, this stool, all of these boxes, bags and shoes. So it's that pile plus the TV plus the mirror, sodden, I forgot the mirror, I've got to add that to the list. So as we know, all my designer bags, they're gonna go and carry on, I'm not risking those in the slightest. My like most expensive or like ready to wear clothes and shoes will also, will come with us, but they won't be in carry on. They're gonna be checked in. Now, I know a lot of people are very concerned about my check-in luggage. I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna go up after I've moved. So, you know, let's hope it hasn't jinxed me. I've, so we're flying with Virgin. I've never had a problem with Virgin ever, especially from the UK to the US side. And I've been packing willy nilly for years. I've only started pu putting my bags in my carry on this year. Also, I don't think that they open your luggage from the UK to the US side. I know U US coming to the UK, they do, because you get a little card inside that's like, we were fiddling around and it's like, <laughs> yeah, you were. But anyway, so fingers crossed. No issues with that. We're not taking any furniture. So the shipment is literally going to be boxes full of clothes, things like blankets, random home stuff and trinkets and whatnot, coffee table books. They are very heavy and I'm not breaking my back for those. So somebody with one of those little forklifts, whatever, can, can deal with it, please and thank you. This is very much me, okay? Oh, she went to Fendarche this morning and look where she is this afternoon. This, this. This is where she is. Oh my gosh, all this stuff to go home. The man in a van is coming. It is T minus 15 days to the flight. My current plan is, the living room is full of boxes. That doesn't move. Oh my gosh, there is everything everywhere and I'm trying to keep it together. I am focusing on clothes I'm not going to wear and all of that that I can start to pack. Bag number one is going to be day one slash essentials. And that's the bag that I'm gonna open in the hotel. The remainder of the bags will be a combination of shoes and clothes that are my like most dear to me. So they are the ones that are coming that are gonna get checked in basically. So I've started on this case and at the bottom of it, this was the case that I bought in New York when I ran out of I had maxed out my <laughs> all my other cases. I've started putting all of that stuff down here. There's a couple of shoes here as well with clothes for padding. And I think pretty much this is done now. Because of the way this is constructed, I think it makes sense for me to put shoes in the top of it. I don't know why that's my logic, but I think that it makes sense. And then again, maybe like a jacket or something to pad around it. It's got these sorts of little sides. And this is where I'm thinking perfumes and whatever. Again, in and around maybe things like t-shirts and whatnot. What else have I done since the last time I spoke to you? Yes, they fit nicely in together. Exhibit A. So, update on my purchasing of American furniture. So yes, we will need to fully furnish our new home from scratch. We have got a budget, I'm sticking to it, and I've got my Excel spreadsheet, and that's my plan. <laughs> 
Today I ordered a rug. Is it necessarily the most important thing and the first thing that I needed to order <laughs> in this process? Not really, because let's be honest, the bed, the mattress, the sofa are the most important. But it said that it's going to get shipped out in two to three weeks. I'm going to buy it anyway. May as well buy it now. I'll put a picture of it. It's from Ruggable. I quite like the name of that company. I'm going to do shoes in here. But I've got my filming background. Okay, there is one pair of shoes that I can go in because they're going in their box. So to be honest with you, these, these can go. So I'm going to pack those. And Miami stripper shoes. Oh, I was meant to wrap the perfumes in this. Dear me, Cassie, one job, one job, and you can't even do that. Right, so I'm going to have to unpack and do all those again. <sighs> I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed at myself because that was stupid. From the top, make it pop. That's some wet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and things are about to get wet the way that I did these, didn't they? Yes, because I, Cassie, oh, because you can pack them, right, and wrap them in sodding tissue paper pack you up your beautiful little shoes i love those now i don't want these to get crushed but this is the only way i can think of i think we're gonna have to do loop-de-loop -loop in the toe right so you will go there right come on come on find a shoe bag it's just it's the timing of things as well that's sort of throwing me like i'm trying to time my ikea delivery of my new wardrobe well i'm going to have this same sort of packs system because i like it. it's just so easy and you know especially since we don't own the place or anything it just makes sense it's like trying to time the delivery so that when i start to film sit down videos there we are good to go and you guys just aren't staring at a sodden blank background so this is what i'm trying to do also, apologies if you see me in this same tracksuit bottoms for the three weeks that we're doing this. I've packed them. Uh, that's my excuse anyway. Hello. All right. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how I've packed the boxes. This has got my, like, ooh, jeans, uh, umbrellas. I don't know why we've got four, but um, I feel like we'll use them in, in New York. Does anyone else keep the boxes from technology? I don't know. I don't know why that's the thing, but they've gone in there. Um, and then, like, I've put, like, a coffee table book in each one to sort of move around the weight of everything. So I'm going to fill these up. Then I'm going to wrap them in plastic wrap. Couldn't even tell you what was in this. Some home stuff. And then, again, packed to the brim with clothes and things maybe like less branded clothes then i've put like in between uh picture frames i've got this huge like rihanna it was like a special edition like whole setup with a stand the stand is packed in one of these i couldn't even tell you you know what i'm gonna weigh it i'm gonna weigh it and i'm gonna tell you exactly how heavy this one singular book is 6.7 kilos just that is anybody else like me these are just like my memory boxes my old work pass what have we got here hello 20th of september 2018 sardine 50 cent at the o2 let me tell you an incredible night i went with both my mother and me and we all had a great time yes my mum likes 50 cent okay oh my gosh 28th of november 2011 j cole at the o2 academy in birmingham kevin hart the irresponsible tour i'm not gonna lie to you wasn't funny at all they made us film laughter before he even started they were like right we're gonna do a pan around and we're gonna do three levels of laughter okay so first one just little giggle <laughs> so the entire of the set <laughs> right medium one funny joke <laughs> third thing funniest thing you've ever seen in your life <laughs> what Jay-Z and Beyonce on the run too. Bat Out of Hell, the musical, excellent musical. I'm very annoyed that they closed it down because I went to see it twice and I would have seen it again. Uh, Live Nation presents Nicki Minaj, June 2012. Oh yes, the one time I went to the opera to see La Boheme, Boheme in 2012. Somebody took me on a date. To the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. 
nothing ever came of the date but he was a nice guy there you go november 2012 she was getting around in 2012 wasn't she the cripple of inishman that was a play that daniel redcliffe was in and he got naked and i think maybe that was the only reason we went <laughs> british summer summertime i did that with my dad we went to that because uh, went to see a little bit of santana full of cards my mum loves like these sort of over the top cards Look at that, it's so cute. And because of that, I can't throw any cards away now. Happy anniversary to us. What a picture, what a picture. We were so young and tiny. This was when my parents and I went to Alcatraz and all of us look far better now. I look like I've got a dead raccoon around my neck. I've got a friend of mine who's obsessed with my nose. So that was his card to me one year. It was just my nose. Thank you very much, Johnny. Probably should have had this sent home. Yeah, I've already got like two boxes of memories. I probably should have had this sent home. Hello, hello. It is the 20th of May. I thought that I would show you what English things, oh God, it's quite heavy, that I, I'm intending to take with me to America. Now, I am well aware that some of these are available in America. However, from here, I may as well bring them, right? Um, mini cheddars are my favorite thing and they have been my favorite thing since I was a toddler. And I don't think these are an American thing. These are like little, little cheddar, uh, snacky little, little biscuits, little crackers. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm probably gonna eat one of these now. So I'll need to buy another pack of that. Probably a pack of 12, okay. Yorkshire tea. I don't even really drink tea like this. I'm, I'm a green tea, white tea drinker, but we are a British household, okay? So if anybody comes around, Yorkshire tea. Nando's Perinés. Yes. Nando's Piri Piri rub for chicken. Instant flavour, medium. Why not? Cad oh, Cadbury's Dairy Milk. There's like little snack size bars that are probably intended for children to go into their lunchbox. A couple of packets of those. Uh, I'm also a whole nut gal. This is the superior stuffing. If I go anywhere and it's like, oh, the stuffing and it's sausage meat and cranberry and all of that, I don't want it. It's sage and onion, and I'm not gonna lie to you, homemade or whatever, put it aside, pack so. For those rare times, I will be making a roast, but I shall have my Paxo stuffing. I don't know if that could be an American thing, I'm not entirely sure. Nando's salt, the best. Oh, also, people were commenting on my video about moving, saying bring Lemsip. So I am. Apparently ours is stronger than the American version, or the Americans don't have anything like this. I'm not sure. Either way, two packets, that should do me for a few months. I might. It's a must, okay? That will actually last me until I die. I really don't go through very much of it. HP sauce. Imagine, imagine having sausages and not having it with HP sauce. <gasps> Terrible. Bisto beef gravy best. Now, fun fact, I actually don't make my gravy purely with this. I'll make it with stock cubes and juices from the meat, but I do use a little bit of this just to give it a little bit of a Percy sodding pigs. Yes, yes, yes. Gummy, foamy, deliciousness. T minus nine days, I look like a mess, but let me show you how I'm packing the shoes. So I'm going to fill this as much as I can. I've tried to make sure everything stays in its dust bag. I'm gonna line all of this in the shoes. Any sort of softer ones or sneakers or something can go on top of things like the boots. And then I am going to layer with jackets, clothes, things of that nature on top. I don't think another layer of shoes are gonna get in here. There is most definitely some corner space in here. However, <sighs> ah, no. This is why if you're going to buy Renoas, do not buy any of the metal ones that have this locking mechanism, okay? Because you can squeeze more into the plastics. Oh God, I think I've broken my big toe. I don't even know if I'll make it to New York, honestly. Oh. T 
T minus nine days. Didn't I think that it was T minus nine days yesterday? Well, today it's the real T minus nine days. It is the 23rd of, what are we? May. Now I can start to pack like the shoes that are on my shelves that you can see in the videos and lighting and all of that. And then just to make me even sadder, I just watched the last episode of Orange is the New Black and I've watched it before, but years ago. And uh, that made me sad because I love that TV show. And it's sad when things come to an end. And maybe it's hitting home even more now because yeah, this is coming to an end. Right, ring light, I've kept all of its little, all of its little bags. Right, I have no clue what that is. I've never seen you before in my life. If I don't lose a nail, it's gonna be an absolute miracle. But I can't, that's another thing guys. Nails. I'm gonna cry at my nail appointment. The bottom of this bad boy. Apologies if you see any um, pencil bras in the background. The bottom of this is packed. This is costume, jewelry and clothes. Let me give you a little bit of, a, of an insight. There we go, all right. Costume, jewelry, clothes. If anything is in this, it means it's a liquid. I've just put the boxes in between and we've packed up. That's the hair, the hair doesn't need to go. All right, I'm not doing a DNA test. Let's start off with the trainers because the trainers, by the way, I know that some people are like, oh my gosh, you're wasting space because you could be putting socks in those and everything. Socks are being shipped, all right? They are the least of my concerns. Also, socks in general are the least of my concerns. Shoes are the worst things to pack. I'm now just thinking, where the hell are the other shoes gonna go? Six, one, two, three, four, four five, six. Sod in six pairs, where the hell are they going to go? Is the top of that green bag packed? We are going to redistribute from this bag into this bag. So some of these like smaller clothes and things that can pad on top. Have a leger. I'm not going to lie to you. I think she's coming back. I want to be ready. Okay. <laughs> redistribution. <laughs> That's easy, that. Yes. Smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, sudden success. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Come on. Hello, we are six days to go. Can you believe it? How insane is that? Oh, it's weird. It's weird. Anyway, I have um, a lovely man coming to take this down. This is all going to get wrapped up and actually this is going to go to Ghana. Anything we don't want is going to go and mum's like, I'll deal with it there. Fine by me. <laughs> so I'm going to clean the shelves and then actually to make his job a bit easier, I'm going to take all the shelves off and unscrew their little holders so that I can then kind of wrap those up and really all he's got to do is take down, take down the big boys. Move on. We're gonna have to move on. Hi. Hi. I need you to FaceTime me because I'm trying to take screws out of the wardrobe and they won't come out. Oh. I did you need a special spot out here. No, it's just a screwdriver, but I'm unscrewing it and the screws won't come out past a certain point. Okay. Yeah, Alright yeah. then. to my nightmare oh okay so let me show you just spent the last however long taping up the sofa i ran out of plastic sheets on the last section so yes i am being resourceful thank you and uh i am patching together <laughs> bin bags because this is the best we can do oh Bollocks. By the way, 
if anybody mentions on this video like why isn't me helping you do this blah blah my boyfriend has a job so like right now he is on a panel okay and the other thing is i don't trust that man i don't trust that man to pack things efficiently okay i had to teach him how to fold yesterday but honestly things like this i'm happy to do it myself i really am i will be even more stressed if i had somebody helping me all right i've just been watching rick outside of beverly hills whilst doing this and to be honest i'm quite proud of myself actually i really am i think i've done a sodden brilliant job entry requirements to the us i've booked an observed lateral flow. We're meant to have an observed lateral flow. Which essentially, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. It's fine. The guys picking up all the Ghana stuff were like, "We're gonna do it tomorrow afternoon," and I was like, "Fine, I'll do it. I'll do all the packing tomorrow morning." Psych. He's coming at eleven. So. Okay. We've got five days to go, and if I look beyond the realms of tired, it's because I am. But anyway, so we are going to focus on packing my hand luggage with <clears throat> the girls, my bags. So I've got this, I remember, this that my uh, parents are lending me, and this people 45, 50, 50 I think. And then we also have my green Gucci tote, and that's going to be, she's going to be by my side on the sodding plane, isn't she? She's got the Birkin inside, so she's done, we've, we've, we're finished with her. Now I also have my list of what's going into what bag, because obviously we've got two hard-sided, one soft. So the softies are going to go in soft, and the ones that have got a bit more structure, have got like design elements that are hard, they're going in this as well. Chanel, all the dust bags here. Chanel sunset by the sea. Ooh. You wonderment of glory. Look, it lived in a little sock. Yes, this is your original home. <gasps> now, I think I want you on this side because this side has got the ridges. You know where it's got the handles. Let's do strap inside in her slip, which is the right way, whatever, whatever, whatever. Ah, that's why I see, nicely, nicely on the ridge side. Okay, fits nicely there, and then the straps. And you know what, I'm gonna lie on top, out uh, there, ja ah, jacket, 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 jacket. Who's next, Fendace? Uh, I actually don't know why I chose you to be in this section. Do you? Yeah, that's nice. I think that's all right for you. Couple of bodysuits. In we go. That'll be a <laughs> surprise on the other side, won't it? Okay. Little one, Lelinge, straight down the side. You whose original desk bag I cannot find, but it must be somewhere. You there, lovely. Oh, we've got lots of space. I was going to put these inside other bags, but to be honest with you, no need. Now, I know a lot of people are concerned about customs. Me too. We're going to cross that bridge if we come to it. <laughs> you know what? The Fendi team at Selfridges are incredible. So kind, so lovely, so supportive of my channel. They're literally like, take the new collection, go in a room, do whatever you want, film it, blah, blah, blah. They just, they just get the vibes. Anyway, so they gave me some lovely gifts the other day, including this. Oh my gosh, like a, a Fendi AirPods pouch. Thank you. So you can detach the arms and loop this onto something, maybe onto a bag or something. And then look at that, just snugly fits your AirPods and off you go. Now I don't even have the AirPods Pro, but my normal AirPods fit in there. So there we go. Now, I also don't want them to be cramped though. So let's not push it. Is there anything else that needs to go into this nook and cranny? Okay, we're pushing her in. I did consider wearing you to the airport, but those planes have air conditioning, okay? A little bit too much, if you know what I mean. So I needed something a little bit, a bit warmer. Nicely. There's no pressure on you, right? No. Okay. 
Who is up next to your saddle? Ah, yes, you odd looking little woman, you. In we go. But you need to be on the top because I don't want stuff going on your handle. This one is again one that needs to lie on top so as not to be affected by another bag's weight. Let's detach your handle so you will ride separately. There you go. Nice, snug, secure, great. Bendy first. Another odd little lass, and you really do need to be stuffed with. Bodysuit. In we go. Socks. This way. Because it's a bit higher. It's a bit higher than this. It's going to go into that. Fine, fine. Puzzle. Puzzle solving skills. We are T minus three days. That sounds scary. Okay, but pretty much everything is packed. Some of these things are going to ignore that. That's my mother. It, some of these things are going to niece parents' house. Then all of these da, 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 are coming on the flight with us. Hello, Lumpkins. This rail is going to go to Nee's parents' house. That is also check-in luggage. These are the carry-ons all finished. This is all for Nee's parents. This is, my mum's taken some of this, so this will all be sent home. These boxes, minus that, mum's like, we can get that in, I doubt it. All of these boxes are then going to be shipped. So, what's happening now, the guy is coming with the van to take stuff to niece parents the guy is coming with the van on monday to take stuff to mum all of the boxes i believe are actually being shipped with dhl which i'm quite happy with because i always have a positive experience with dhl so there we go it is time for the empty apartment tour are you ready it's very echoey right it's gonna do a nice Ooh. that was really good wasn't it anyway so you walk in this flat really like was good to us so you walk in and we go to the right and then you have the toilette okay that had storage which was fantastic for all of my skincare lotions and potions and everything and a bath which is truly an essential so there we go the hallway was pretty pretty decent nice and spacious to the left we've got a storage cupboard, which I called my odds and sods cupboard, which was just full of everything, including a game of Scrabble that we literally played once and then we never played again because I got frustrated because me kept winning because he knew all of those cheater two letter words. Anyway, so this is the bedroom. Okay, so our bed used to be here and then me had a little bit of a walk-in wardrobe situation. Lots of space for his three pairs of shoes. Okay. <laughs> then there was another storage cabinet here and this was my wardrobe. And I would put all my shoe boxes and bag boxes up there and then close railing and then put whatever I could fit on the bottom as well. Here was my room. The room that brought me the best fabulous closet ever. <laughs> and then here I had my clothing rack and my little weird little Ikea chest, Muji set of drawers. And then my desk was here. It's a small space, like this is meant to be a two bedroom, but it worked for us. And then here we've got the boiler cupboard, as exciting as that is. And then here we had sort of the main lounge kitchen area with Ivy making an appearance. We also did have a little closet thing here, which I put like the ironing board and whatnot. And yeah, the kitchen itself was huge. Um, and it was nice having open space and we would have our TV there. And we also had a balcony, which I don't want to open because I've closed and to be honest with you, that was a miracle that it closed. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. The boxes have gone. They are being tracked on the way to the United States. And yeah, I guess it's probably gonna start sinking in now. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm very grateful for everything that this flat gave us and provided for us and everything. And I guess this is the end of the packing vlog, isn't it? Guys, let me know your thoughts or if you even made it to this part of the packing vlog. Um, 
yeah, very grateful to you as always. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you at Heathrow. Bye guys.